Hi. Okay, yeah, we could do it like this. But we're out here at the police museum, not getting arrested, but doing no, a bologna sandwich show. It's also very haunted. I don't know, maybe I'll get arrested, maybe something paranormal will happen. I oh, wow, that's so cool. I can see myself in there. So now we're going to go celebrate arrests, <laughs> and we're going to see ghosts. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to see if there's no, a bathroom. Hello. Oh, my gosh. I swat. Ooh, I swat. I think so. Remember chips? Yes! <laughs> cool. Oh, here's the jail cell. Oh wow. my god, this is the best part in the restaurant. Wow. wow. So, like, I heard that someone, when this was an active jail, that someone committed suicide in one of these cells. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So. This one? Is this where the restroom is? Is this how I have to use the restroom? I think so. Is this, can yeah. we do the show in here? Manson Girls. Wow. Damn. Well, that's what it says, the Manson Girls. So Susan Atkins was born in San Gabriel, California, oh. and Los Angeles and Altadena. Oh my god! I gosh. got some of them mixed up. In 1947, um, her body was found. Her name's Elizabeth Short, and um, she was cut in half. And there was like a, a ghastly like smile carved into her face, and no one knows it's an open like it was never solved. So wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's Charles Manson, a lot of what yeah. criminal, um, con man, cult leader, uh, frustrated musician, you know, all, yeah. the, all of the above, maybe. That's what, that's what the failures of L.A. and Hollywood will do to you. <laughs> I just okay. remember. Yeah, so go ahead, tell us, Mar Marcelina, go into this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally claustrophobic. Oh my goodness, I thought something touched my back and then also maybe my buttocks. <laughs> oh. I swear. Oh. To God, I just felt something. I, I believe you. No, it was like, feel like an energy or something. Like, I don't know. I, I almost feel like we should open this because maybe it's going to try to, you know but, what I mean? Not let you out. I mean, this is what it would be like if I was in jail. <laughs> and I would sleep right here. This is the size of a lot of people's apartments in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. How much do you think this room would go for? This would go for eight to nine hundred. Yeah. Like, yeah. And to have the door, this is extra. If oh, the door, yeah. If oh, the door yeah. locks, it's extra. I can't believe this is just open to the public. Like, they're letting you be arrested. Oh, my goodness. This is how they get people. It's, I know. Yeah, go ahead and pretend oh, like you're being arrested. Oh, okay, wow. Mm -hmm. This is intense and dark and heavy and very Los Angeles Hollywood. This is so L.A. Is this his headshot, do you think? Yeah. So when oh, he was so on close. loose, I was living in Pico Rivera. I was like five. And I lived by a riverbed. And it was so scary. Because, you know, he's doing things all around Pico Rivera, so. Yeah. Do you remember how they found him? Yeah, of course. You say this. You want to say it? Well, you say it, because the camera's okay. on you. So, um, it, these uh, neighborhood people, like average people, they saw him in East L.A., and so they beat him up and called the police. So it was the people that got him. I love that. It's awesome. Yeah, it's the best. I think people should do that more often. Yeah, actually, here's his official mugshot. That's that's oh, his citizens arrest. That's his real mugshot. I love Keanu Reeves. I'm I'm like a I'm like the wish list Keanu Reeves. Oh, really? I'm just teasing. I don't know. But... Maybe he'll be on our show one day. Yeah. Look at all these handcuffs. <laughs> this kinky. Stuff. Yeah, this I'm is sorry. the kinky section. Stop. Wow. That's where they did the polygraphy test to see if you're telling the oh truth. Oh my or not. goodness. I would fail. I bet. Okay, will you videotape me? Yeah. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into jail. So. Okay. You know what people are gonna say. Just like a white woman, white privilege. It must be nice to make fun of people in a jail cell when you can go home. Well you know what? You can come here too, no matter what color you are. I won't put that on. I don't you it's can, great. Anybody can come to this museum. Even if you're a felon. And um, even if you've been in prison, you could still come here and make fun like I am. It's not because I'm just a privileged white woman that I'm able to do this. I have my own bologna sandwich show and connections. Hey, money, 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 money. money. If I was a jail sale um, operator, yeah, I would, I would be like, hey everybody, woo! and I would keep everybody in high spirits. Frederick, are you up? Yeah. I'd be like a cheerleader. And life would be, I wouldn't mind being locked up if he did that. Really? Yeah. Right. In prison on the inside. Yeah. Oh, I think we could go this way. So my grandpa, um, he was like in his 70s, and um, again, Pico Rivera represent, um, he was just parked in, in a parking lot, in a store parking lot, and sometimes he'd, you know, have a sip of beer. What's wrong with that? He's in his 70s, it's the 80s. And so he accidentally backed into a car or something like that. So then he got arrested, and his one phone call to my grandma was, 
He said, honey, I'm in jail where I belong. And he just hung up. Boom. That's a true story. Anyway. I love the honesty. What happens if that phone contacts the beyond? Anything? Uh, oh my God. All right. <laughs> For the worst. I think it was Richard Ramirez. That's the worst pretend phone call I've ever seen in my life. Thinking, what? This is like the haunted hall. Is it for real? Should we do like a jump scare at the top? Yeah. This police museum, people have heard paranormal sounds and voices, and they've also uh, had paranormal things touching. You might be the only people in here right now. Oh, uh, I hear sounds. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't I, touch me. Touch my hair. These girls so naughty. I Get think out. they're into their, your feet. So this mannequin yeah. has moved. Uh, Completely. Oh, this is the one you were talking about? Completely by itself, yeah. Like on its own. What do you mean? Tell me like, more. Like when it's in well, here? Yeah, like it was facing one way and then it faced completely the other direction. And how did you hear about this? Um, the, uh, so the people that work here, yeah. they were on a, like a ghost podcast. There's and they a, said that. How come I didn't know, and I even researched this place, yeah. haunted, and I didn't know that there's a ghost podcast? Well, it was just one, like, I watched, like, there was different podcasts, and I watched, maybe, like, two episodes oh. each of each one. Okay, so, I see yeah. what you're saying. And they were saying that a person was in here, or a No, it just moved here? by itself, like, some oh. sort of energy moved the whole mannequin around. But did somebody see it happen? Yeah, well, they when they lock up, like, it's facing one way, Oh. and then when they come back, it's facing oh, something yeah. really great. Um, these are cool. I don't know if maybe someone's gonna watch this and they've always wanted to see old school guns. So I'll just that do might this. Be a part of our fan base. Possibly. That, yeah, I think our fan base is very um, pro gun, like <laughs> NRA type people. Well, how do I say this? I support all people. I love all people. Yeah, I, I do Definitely. too. Definitely. I support. I respect all people. Well, I respect stuff. I love your Kurt Cobain yeah. shirt. Do you want me to film? Sure. As he is a ghost. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, he's went on to another life, and I feel like I'm paying tribute to dead souls that are still alive, because I think when you die, you still keep living, and just not on Earth. And so, here, let me explain stuff to you. Okay, okay so, please, yeah. So this here is um, a police station, and this is a TV, and the TV is constantly playing something. And that's there. People are, I've heard that people are served bologna sandwiches in jail, in prison. What? This is his fanny pack. I kind of look like that man, whoever he is. Yeah. I think, yeah, you see that resemblance? This is a North Hollywood oh. ex shootout exhibit. This is like what people wear nowadays to look fashion for now. Look at those eyes though. Wow. Jeez. Do you think that? Some items hold energy because I think they absolutely. do. Absolutely. Have yeah. you ever gone to the Goodwill and felt certain energies? I've gone to the Goodwill and I there was all these army jackets and I was wanting an army jacket and then I'm like, I don't even want to touch these. I just felt like there was a presence or an energy on the army jackets, and my mom said that can happen that um, bad energy or good energy can attach. I don't know if it has to be really strong, or why sometimes you feel it on some clothes and some you don't. Yeah. But I always feel a lot of energy. I just accept it. Yeah. No, absolutely. I feel comfortable. I mean, yeah. I'm always uncomfortable, but I feel pretty comfortable. Okay. I um, actually had a neighbor who, uh, since, we're, since we're in the police, you know, museum, yeah. I had a neighbor who, years ago, he was bothering my mother and I. Oh. So I got a restraining order on him. He was mm -hmm. our upstairs neighbor. Yeah. Then I just kind of like forgot about him. And then... Uh, and then I saw him like a year later, he could barely walk. So something happened to him where he could barely walk. And then, um, I don't know who that is, but they look, they awesome. look nice. Like they look like they know what they're doing. Yes. Like her, she's like in charge. Oh yeah. She's, she's showing off her. If I had a badge, I would show it off. I'm, I'd listen to everything she said. Yeah. This guy I heard came to visit someone that works here like late at night. You're just standing there. That's trippy. I, the last time I was here, I didn't look over here. Jeez, we, our, our city has a lot of history, huh? Yeah. It's, at least this jacket's kind it's of... so bad. strange that he's like such a slash, um, uh, to me anyway, my perception, like a musician or an actor or something. Yeah. 
Oh, wow, here's Richard Ramirez again. Uh, if anybody ever wears a Jack Daniels shirt again, just remember. No. Like, hi, Marcelino. Feels like camping. Nice. Because I used to camp in a helicopter when I was little. Oh, nice. Well, you were a flight attendant. Yeah. How long did you do that? Four years, five wow. years, two different airlines. Were most people nice? No, I hated everybody. Yeah. And then everything was fine that day, and then people showed up. I was like, damn it. Yeah. Let me see what happens in here. Scared. This is why I know I know, I'll never I don't want to get arrested. Yeah. Did you see that? Speaking of being scared, did you see that car over there? It was like all shot up. No. Yeah. Let's you, go look. Yeah. Wow. It, it looks oh. so archaic, and look at how old the inside of this, like, the radios. Yeah. It's so old school. Yeah, totally. Do you think ghosts have a sense of humor? I, <laughs> they better, because they're always going, oh. Because they're always going, what? Oh. <laughs>